What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Since my Halloween ends in this video here again today, going over some theories, a couple of them, at least two, and going over the test screening that went on yesterday with Jason Blum, who has confirmed that he has now seen the movie and apparently some other people saw it. So when it comes to these theories that I'm seeing and considering, one of them is, of course, obviously making Michael and Laurie Strode siblings again in the end. Now, my thing there is why do that when the intent was to go back to the roots of the original movie? And that is just, of course, connecting it to that original film and then bridging from building upon that and disregarding the film that made them siblings, only to then basically do your own iteration of it, where now the final twist is that they are indeed still related. You just want to do your own spin on it. I mean, you'll have a lot of people arguing you could have just left that in, meaning you could have left Halloween 1 and 2 canon, and then you could have just built on it from there. You could have basically done a... I guess you could say a remake of Halloween H2O. Uh, that's what many people already joke about this one as Halloween H4O with the 2018 movie. So, and of course you have the joke, oh, H60's coming. Uh, but I think making them siblings again would just defeat the purpose of what they've already tried to discredit as being not something that is relevant or necessary for the story they've been trying to convey, which is going back to the roots of Michael Myers is not going to have a motive per se now i will add i will admit this they can be siblings but then i guess the thing that's different here is that michael wasn't actively pursuing his sibling this whole entire time as much as the sibling Lori was pursuing him because that's again how it was in the 2018 movie michael wasn't after Lori; Lori was after michael so i guess that could be the fresh thing here you have michael and Lori once again related however there's nothing that really is compelling him to go out of his way to kill his little sister as much as he probably was again in my own theory considering maybe going home to find his parents maybe there's some some bad blood there he wants to deal with his parents he's not concerned with any other relatives and this doesn't have to tie into anything related to the thorn or anything like that you don't have to go into some long drawn out reason for why he wants to kill his family it could just be he just gone insane he snapped there might be some hostility between him and his parents if they want to do that uh that could be explored in ends if they would even be brought up but bringing in that sibling angle again i know a lot of people would like it i personally wouldn't only because again i would be one of those arguing okay well you should have just kept the second movie canon and you could have just done a reimagining of h2o because again you already have the jokes that the 2018 movie was halloween h4o my other thing i'm considering is if they're siblings again how will we find out this revelation what is going to be everything that goes into that uh would this make it a little bit more necessary then not necessary but it would give some more weight if michael's parents appear in the movie to come here to haddonfield see their two children battling and then maybe they drop that bombshell i'm just thinking about okay well how how will we reveal this again because we know in the in the second movie marion chambers reveals it to dr loomis on their ride out of haddonfield before he d quickly decides to hold the officer at gunpoint forcing him to turn the car around and go back to haddonfield memorial where we know that finale occurs uh I'm just trying to think of, well, how would you go about revealing that in this new iteration? What would you do? How would we get to that point? Because it's assumed that Lori and Michael, of course, have been separated for the past four years. Lori has probably grown a lot closer to Allison, who's dealing with her own trauma. Lori's still dealing with her own trauma as well, losing her daughter now, taking care of her granddaughter, who may or may not be in college at this point, possibly also factoring in Lindsay Wallace, who may or may not have gotten closer to those two women. And we'll learn a lot about her. So it just feels like, OK, well, is this going to be something that's disclosed to Lori halfway through the movie? Or is this going to be something that somebody else comes in and discloses to Lori? Like, how do you end up getting back to them being brother and sister again? I don't know. I just feel like it's something that I would rather see left out. I've also seen people talk about the the shamrock thing, like maybe at the end, Michael's mask gets taken off and you find out it's somehow connected to silver shamrock. 
I admittedly am not the biggest fan of Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. I can admit that it is far better than a lot of the re than a lot of the returns we've seen from Michael Myers over the years, specifically Halloween 5 and Halloween Resurrection. Silver Shamrock Season of the Witch is a completely better movie than both of those two combined. But I don't think that would be a twist that's satisfying either since I guess you've already established that those are in separate universes, but now you're pulling it into this one and you've already had easter eggs to silver shamrock in the past so i guess that raises the questions of well why weren't these other people being affected but michael is what's so special about michael and his costume because i know people have talked about maybe his costume from all those years ago when he killed judith would be connected to it too but jason blum put out a tweet last night stating that he had seen the movie he said guess what i actually saw halloween kills or halloween ends last night now of course he didn't go into any specifics now if he did go into it like expressing that it was a good time or that he liked it again it's, it's jason blum it's he's involved with the movie i'm not saying that there's not anything to get excited about from that but of course he's not going to come out and tweet you know i just saw i just saw the worst movie ever now imagine this was black christmas 2019 and he came out and said that that was an amazing thing if he just put out a tweet saying that he just saw black christmas 2019 it was amazing and then a couple months later you find out that it's actually trash <laughs> but big screen leaks also followed up with that and revealed that halloween ends had a test screening last night for a select group of people in the film industry i think they also elaborated and said that they were they were waiting to they were not going to reveal it but since jason blum tweeted something out they went ahead and exposed it as well so a select few people probably meaning like some critics or something like that in higher up positions uh writing for a few different websites or outlets and they of course are not going to come out and tell you anything because they've all signed ndas there's a lot more respect there when it comes to those individuals this means that i guess that you shouldn't expect many leaks to come online until maybe possibly another test screening happens which involves a wider selection from the public now now attending because of the fact that for those of you who watch my note videos you know i just did a test screening reaction video where people who i'm telling you right now they had to have signed ndas they had to be members of the public too went out of their way to go share reactions over on reddit these select group people select few people are most likely critics who are not going to do that so reactions to halloween ends probably won't break out to another test screen happens where the public is allowed but let me know what you guys think about all that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on notification and never miss the video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video